Welcome to eBusiness Tax Part 3, Tax Regimes, by IT Convergence. Set up tax regimes for the taxes in each country and geographic region where you do business and where a separate tax applies. A tax regime associates a common set of default information, regulations, fiscal classifications, and registrations to one or more taxes with the same tax requirement. The tax regime provides these functions groups similar taxes together, designates the geography within which taxes apply, defaults the settings and values you define to each tax in the region, contributes to the definition of configuration options and third-party service subscriptions, optionally provides a single registration for all taxes associated with the region, defines the use of fiscal classifications. The common tax regime setup is one tax regime per country per tax type with the tax requirements administered by a government tax authority for the entire country. There are also cases where tax regimes are defined for standard geographical types or subdivisions of the country. In these cases, you base the tax regime on the trading community architecture standard geography. You must set up a tax regime before you set up the taxes in the tax regime. Some tax regime will use default to the taxes that belong to the regime in order to help minimize tax setup. You can update many of these values at the tax level. You must associate the tax regime with all of the first party legal entities and operating units that are subject to the tax regulations of the regime. using the regime to rate flow. Use the tax regimes page to search and display your tax regimes and their related setup. The tax regimes page makes use of the page hierarchy, personalization, user interface to display the hierarchy of tax configuration setups. Use the regime to rate flow icon to display a table for the setups of a particular tax regime. The regime to rate flow table lets you drill down into the details of the tax regime setup, including all taxes, tax statuses, and tax rates. You can update existing records or create new records at any point in the regime hierarchy. Taxes and geographic locations. Use the geographic settings in eBusiness Tax to define the taxes and tax rates at each geographic level in your countries of operation. E-Business Tax uses the TCA Master Geography Hierarchy to determine the relationships between countries and the territories and geographic regions within the country that belong to them. For example, the structure for the United States is defined in this way. Country is the parent of state, state is the parent of county, county is the parent of city, and city is the parent of postal code. E-Business Tax uses this structure to help determine the taxes and tax rates that apply to each geographic entity within the United States. In this way, a sales transaction that takes place in a city may include taxes at the state, county, and city level. The complexity of the structure that you need depends upon your country's appropriation and the requirements of the tax regimes in those countries. For many tax requirements, the country is the only geographic entity that you will use. In eBusiness Tax, you can set up geographic information at three levels. Tax regime, tax, and tax jurisdiction. You can use these levels to define different tax requirements within a geographic hierarchy. Prerequisites. Before you can set up tax regimes, you may need to complete one or more of these tasks. Set up first party legal entities and operating units. Currencies. TCA geography hierarchy structures. Party tax profiles. Tax zones. Exchange rate types. Tax authorities. The setup of a new tax regime includes header level information. Entering header level information about the tax regime. Tax level controls. Setting tax level controls to enable the options that you want to make available to the taxes in this tax regime. If necessary, 
you can disable the functionality that you enable here for individual taxes within the tax regime. Default values. Entering default values for the taxes in this tax regime. You can update the default values at the tax level. Now we'll see how to set up a new tax regime in eBusiness Tax. Navigate to Create Tax Regime page. Enter a unique tax regime code and tax regime name. Use a coding convention that indicates both the country and the kinds of taxes that belong to this regime. Select the regime level to define the geographic area of the tax treatment. You can only use group of countries for parent tax regimes. If the regime level is country, enter the country name. If applicable, enter the parent regime information. Enter the effective period of, for this regime. The dates you enter default to all related tax setup within the regime. If you enter an effective to date, you cannot update this date after you save the record. Under Control and Default, set tax level controls for this tax regime. Allow tax recovery lets you set up tax recovery for the taxes in this tax regime. Allow Overwrite and Entry for, of Inclusive Tax Lines lets you change the settings for tax inclusive handling at the tax level. Allow Tax Exemptions lets you set up customer tax exceptions for this tax. Allow Tax Exceptions lets you designate special tax rates for specific products as determined by the tax authorities. Enter the tax currency. The tax currency is the currency required by the tax authority. If necessary, enter the exchange rate type to use to convert the transaction currency to the tax currency. Enter the tax rounding parameters to use for all taxes in this regime. Use the allow tax inclusion field to define the nature of tax inclusive handling. Tax inclusive handling defines the relationship as designated by the tax authority between the line amount and the tax amount. If you set the allowed tax recovery option, select the default recovery settlement. Immediate tax recovery is available at invoicing and deferred tax recovery is available only after the invoice is paid. Check allow multiple jurisdictions box if one or more of the taxes in this tax regime apply to multiple tax jurisdictions. Check the allowed tax running override box to let you update the rounding parameters for individual taxes in this regime. And check the use legal registration number box if the tax authority requires that you use the same registration number for this tax for both legal and transaction tax purposes. Under compounding level controls, check the allow cross regime compounding box and enter the compounding precedence. If taxes in this regime are involved in any compounding operation, with taxes in another regime of the same configuration owner, the compounding pre precedence indicates the order in which to consider the taxes in each regime. Click Continue to enter configuration options. In configuration options, click Finish to save your settings. Thank you, and for more information, call us today for a free assessment and email us to release12 at itconversions.com. Don't forget to watch our series of videos about a business tax.